Matthias, could you briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Who are you? What is your job? And what do you especially like about it? Well, um, I'm in a Palfing organization since March 2020, just at the start of the Corona lockdown. I come from the region of Stuttgart, Germany, and I'm married and a father of two kids. I do like hiking, mountain biking, running, ski touring, reading and playing, playing trumpet in a brass ensemble. I also like to relax when I'm gardening at home or meeting with friends for a nice barbecue. My job is to lead and develop further the global pulping organization by building up the center of excellence system management engineering within the global function product line management and engineering. The goal is to provide common capabilities, processes, tools and methods and reusable standard elements across all product lines to support them and to achieve and access synergies. The COE consists of competence clusters that teams well with the members of the product lines with the aim of exchanging, testing and establishing existing and new knowledge and methods in the organization to gain synergies in best way. I especially like to get to know many new and very good professional people and link their knowledge in different areas. In the product lines there is an extremely large amount of knowledge available, which must be exchanged among each other so that everyone can benefit and grow from it. Awesome are the products and the wide portfolio that Palfing is offering. These are fantastic machines for our customers and created by great development work. Change and transformation became inevitable. Do you see some major trends or challenges in our industry? What are those trends and how are they changing our business? Change and transformation has always accompanied humanity. This also applies to our industry. Only through constant development and foresight we will be able to maintain the status of Palfinger has earned over the years. Technologies such as 5G, AI, 3D printing, cloud computing, robotics open new op opportunities, which we must exploit for our customers. In addition, environmentally friendly and quietly operating products will become important. The biggest challenge for us as a company will be to continue to offer our customers the right product with the technology required for the respective market. Technologically, very affine countries such as Japan and soon also China will demand products equipped with the latest technology. What do you think will be the biggest and all changing technical or social developments in the next 10 years? Well. That will be data and the speed of data availability will be one of the game changers in the next 10 years. With this, AI, VR and 3D printing will bring us much closer to our customer. The ones who will manage data and the content of data the best will have lots of advantages. The speed and availability will enable many new services and solutions which we can offer to our customer. Furthermore, New technologies will have significant impact by increasing the level of autonomous, connected and electrified functions in any device. Could you give some specific examples what the trends, changes and challenges mean for Palfinger's product development process? How can Palfinger actively turn these challenges into real opportunities? Well, with a change to the GBO structure, Palfing has founded the architecture for the future needs. Now we must act as a team that supports each other to bring the lifting solutions on the next level. The field of mechanical engineering has dominated over the last decades. The new products will require, besides the mechanical structure, much more electrical and software engineering. This need will have a huge impact on existing organizations. To tackle this fast and efficient, we must break down the old siloed working architecture. We must bundle our workforces and build up repetitive building blocks to mitigate the risk in these technologies. We need to build robust and flexible architectures. A mixed team might lead first innovative phases of a project 
and other teams will take over to their product line. AI will support more and more during the engineering and industrialization phase. If we act as a team, we will challenge our competition and are able to deliver the latest technologies to our customer. Palfinger is known for innovative cranes and lifting solutions. Are there already some developments ongoing that are driven by digital transformation? Absolutely. Palfinger teams are already working on very interesting and future-oriented use cases like cyber crane, intelligent hook loader systems, semi-autonomous functions and some other exciting cases. Important is to work consistently with high power on these solutions and learn and even fail fast. We can discover from IP research that we are not alone on this planet. Do cranes become smart? Yes, uh, not only cranes, even other solutions. At the end, the customer decides how smart the product will be. We must be prepared and push the options to a good level in advance. In a nutshell, how does the future Palfinger lifting solution look like? The solutions will be more and more autonomous, so that the user can do the work very safe and comfortable. We will stay much more connected with the customer and our machines to be available or assisting at any time. The close contact to our customer will provide us many more information and data to better understand and interact with our customer needs. The electrified lifting solutions will emerge paired with mechanical engineered solutions. I am proud to be a part of this strong team. Challenge accepted. <laughs>